morning, Rockdale County citizens and taxpayers. George Kelichek, I have the Taxpayer Association. This morning I spoke in front of the Board of Commissioners regarding this 45.6% tax increase, along with the already approved 11.6% from the Board of Education. If this tax increase goes through, the, the $150,000 home owner in Rockdale County would pay an additional $850 per year. Along with that, a $104 stormwater fee. And on top of that, you would have your other items. So you would have to come up with an additional $6,096 per year just to pay for your goods and services. The other item, as you know, inflation is also added into this, along with goods and services. We're paying an additional $493 per year, June 20 versus June 2021, as reported by the ABC Worldwide News. We can't afford this, the average citizen cannot afford it, and so we're asking that there be a zero net increase in our taxes, along with having progressive items going on and not doing business the same way over and over and over. Thank you very much. Good morning, my name is Rosie Cecil and I am a citizen here in Rockville County. Unfortunately, we're not happy today because our Board of Commissioners are doing a cumulative 57%, 55 to 57% tax increase on the citizens of this county. Rockdale is one of the smallest counties in the state of Georgia. We moved here because of the, the comforts that we have here, the tax rates and things like that. Unfortunately, as they continue to increase our tax percentages, millage rates, things like that, we're not seeing the services to go along with that. So I ask everybody to go and visit the Voices of Rockdale or Voters of Rockdale. You can also follow us through the local paper as well for Rockdale County. Thank you so much. Hello, I'm Steve Samuels. I'm a Rockdale resident. For six years, uh, uh, I'm here to protest to get, keep the VOC, Oz Nesbitt, the Doreen, whatever her name is, another chick on the council, the, the, the council to stop raising our taxes. Okay, uh, it's property taxes. Okay, so okay, I'll give you a good example. My house worth 100. And, 55,000 six years ago. Now it's worth 320,000. And they haven't even seen the improvements on the inside of it. They just drove around the house. So the property taxes go up. And so I'm on a fixed income retired. My my fit, my income retirement uh, 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 income doesn't go up. It stays the same. But they want to keep raising up property taxes. It, you know, and it, it, it should be at age 65. You should have a decrease in the property tax since you own your own home. And then as you you get up to maybe age 70, you shouldn't have to pay no more tax. Hi, I'm Nancy Scott, and I'm out here protesting tax I know my wife, my wife um, I've been in this county since 1971. And I've been in my current home in the county since 1980. And every year, my taxes go up and my neighborhood goes down. And I'm kind of tired of it. I don't see any improvements going on that benefit the people. And really, that's all I have to say. Hi, I'm Greg Meyer. I'm out here because I'm against this 45% increase in property tax. That's ridiculous. I've never got a 45% raise in my life. Where do they come off with this? And it's not like they haven't raised them recently. They raise them every year. Yeah.